What's up guys, Justin here with the TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion 11 tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to add satellite images to your renderings inside of Lumion. So this can be really helpful for adding more information to your renders using geographical data. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so let's go ahead inside of Lumion 11 and let's create a new environment and let's just create a plain environment. So I'm going to click on this right here. That's going to load in my template. And so what we want to do is we want to load in map data to our rendering. So the way that we're going to do that is that's going to be located inside of your landscape settings. And inside of your landscape settings, notice there's a little map icon right here called Open Street Map. Well, if you click on that, that's going to allow us to turn on the Open Street Map tool set. So we're just gonna click on the on button right here. That's gonna check your internet connection. You do need an internet connection in order to do this. Um, this is technically considered a beta version even though it's shipping with Lumion. So um, we're gonna go ahead and click on okay. And what we wanna do is we wanna pick a location. So to do that, we're gonna click right here and then we're gonna use the map in order to select a location. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick maybe a spot right here. I think Central Park will probably be a good one. So we're just going to click inside of our map to select our location. Notice how we can adjust the open street map range using this slider. So I'm going to move it out just a bit so I get the buildings around the outside of the park. And notice how if we were to zoom out, so I'm going to do a zoom, I'm going to fly out a little bit right here. Notice how that map is already giving us a preview right here based on the location that we have selected. So if I was to click over here, that would adjust. You can kind of click and drag this in order to see where this is gonna go inside of your viewport. But then what we wanna do is I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna check the box both for height maps and for satellite maps. So we're gonna click on both of these. And so notice how that's giving us a preview right here. Well, now what we wanna do is we wanna click on the button for start open street map download. So we're going to click on that. That's going to download the OpenStreetMap data and the satellite data into our rendered image. So you can see how this is coming in kind of slowly. So we're going to let this come in a little bit more. Um, it's currently downloading, I believe, the satellite texture itself. All right, so if we navigate around now, you can see that we have satellite data applied to our background right here. And then in here, what we have is we have things like land use and earth use and other things like that. So let's say that we wanted this to just show our satellite data. Well, what we could do is we could uncheck the boxes for land use and earth, and those are no longer going to block our satellite data. Well, then if we fly in here and we take a closer look at this, notice how we have satellite data imported into our landscape right here. And so you can turn off things like water and your paths if you want to as well. This gives you a fairly detailed geographic background that can go inside of your renderings. And notice if you ever want to swap this, so if you ever want to turn your satellite view off, you can just uncheck this and then turn your earth and your land use back on. So you can swap really quickly between the data that you already had in there and the satellite data, depending on what you're trying to do. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. Are you using the satellite data inside of Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. Um, also, let me know what kind of Lumion tutorials you'd like to see in the comments down below. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.